is 31. The newcomer, Marcin Kratnio, out of Poland, is 29. 206 pounds for Sam Alvey, who actually missed weight in his previous fight at middleweight. Alvey will have a reach advantage of an inch and a half. All right, now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a karate fighter holding a professional record, 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, and tonight he is making his octagon debut, presenting Marcin Prokdio. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, only a professional record, 31 wins, 10 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling Sam Alvey. And the action begins. Our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. The veteran Dan Mergliata, our referee for this one. Vanessa Hansen is here. Thank you, V. Smiling Sam Alvey. A pro dating right, so to 2008. Let's go, fight. Alvey has prioritized the finish here tonight. He should have a willing trade partner in the Polish newcomer, Marcin Praknio, who is in red. Smiling Sam Alvey out of the southpaw stance in black. Praknio does not look happy. He's looking at Sam Alvey with the look of disgust. Like, I want to take his head off the entire time. And if you've watched tape on Pracnio, you know he doesn't do a whole lot of smiling. So juxtaposed <laughs> against Sam Alvey. Interesting backdrop to this one. Pracnio has fought in Macau, Thailand. Alvey able to get Pracnio down. Marcin right back to his feet, lands a body shot. Alvey working on a choke here. I mean, did you see the timing and the quickness of Sam Alvey to catch that spinning kick? Let me tell you something. This man is a fine-tuned athlete. I know he's always joking around. He may not look like it, but he caught that kick beautifully. Now, the key stat was he's never had a takedown. Does that ruin his takedown stat? Was that considered a takedown, John? Well, at least right now, they're not giving him any credit. I'll let you know if our uh, fight metric guys want to give him that takedown. But about a minute has gone by here. I was gonna, this is the United States debut as well for Prakneo, who has fought in Macau, Thailand, Indonesia, Switzerland, Austria, Slovenia, Holland, England, Bosnia, Croatia, a lot of different rule sets as well, so. And you wonder, you wonder how, again, the Octagon debut, fighting in the, Uf, the UFC, fighting in the States, what type of effect will this take on Prakneo? Sam Alvey's been here. And he's fought a lot of the best guys in the division. He's seen legends. He's seen high-level fighters. It's something that Pacquiao has not seen to this degree in terms of fighting in the UFC. Sam Alvey's last three UFC wins have been by decision. His first four UFC wins were by knockout or TKO. So Alvey has really prioritized getting a finish here tonight in his UFC light heavyweight debut. He was actually warned for timidity, was Alvi, in his last fight against Ramazan Amiv, which was in October. So, a lot in front of Sam Alvi here tonight. But right now, to the surprise, it's like Prokneel's the one engaging in this clinch. He's got to attack the hands if he wants to get back out to space. Back to the center of the octagon, midpoint of round one. Pacquiao seems to be a little bit, I mean, just a little bit wide out of the moment. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, he seems a little bit in the moment, you know, like, it seems like it may be a little big for him here. His eyes are wide open. When he broke that clinch, he kind of moved a little bit oddly going back to the center. Right. It's going to be on Alvi now to really take it to him, to really put doubts in his head. Good body punch there by Pacquiao. Kick from Alvi. Prakneo follows up with a knee to the body. Oh! Both landed there. Good connect on both sides. Mm -hmm. 
see if Prakneo tries to go to one of his patented high kicks, can land with either foot. Instead, push kick to the body. Nice low kick by Sam Alvey. Alvey's been a real Again. good course for the UFC as oh. he nearly kicks Prakneo's legs out from underneath him. He's hitting him with that low ankle kick. That one really did hurt Prakneo. Alvey should set that up with something first now. Throw some hands. Then throw that outside kick. Prakneo does not like that. Some nice body work now yes. for Marcin Pratnio, who oh! knocked down for Alvin. See if he can capitalize here. Jump like he front choke. Pratnio's still hurt. Here, Alvin creates space. Look at that. That's Pratnio. Oh! Pratnio's down. The walk off KO for oh! Smiling Sam Alvin. That's an experience, John. Pratnio was hurt, and instead of taking the moment, to really gather himself, he went forward into Sam Alvey, check right hook, night, night, clock the old, smiling Sam, does it again. And the O Town's got some love for Sam Alvey, who will probably be smiling as he sleeps tonight. He got the knockout he was looking for, and also has about a two and a half to one underdog here tonight against the highly talented newcomer, Prakio. Yeah, man, I just think that it was a little bit of an experience, John. He was hurt. He should have taken his time. Instead, he forced the action. He got caught with that counter right hook by Sam Alvey. Right here. Look at that. Boom. That right hook landed. Dropped Prognil the first time. Now, you got to be aware of this. If you're Prognil, you know, look at that. He's coming forward. Hands down. Steps right back into that right hook. And he goes down. Look, he had a problem with the finish. But when you go down to your knees there... Hey, you can't fall forward in, in, in combat sport. Right. You cannot fall forward. When you fall forward, you show that you're hurt. I don't have a problem with it. And look at that smile. That's the guy. He should have been on the show. I know the wife's beautiful. He should have been on America's Next Top Model with that.